I've got the little amplifier board hooked up to this 10 megahertz crystal oscillator source. I'll put here goes through a T a 6 dB pad and ignore this open end I didn't have an elbow. This goes to the number one input on my oscilloscope which is a uh, yellow trace. So this voltage signal is taken ahead of this attenuator. Right now this attenuator is a 6 dB attenuator. The output from the little amplifier goes to my scope. Across the terminals of the scope I have a about 70 ohm termination. It's not an attenuator. This amplifier is designed for like a receive amplifier. So I anticipate I'll need a, a pad of some sort, an attenuator, uh, to not so I don't overload the the base bias on this transistor. See a nice sine wave here, which is the uh, output from the sine wave oscillator. You can see here it's chopped off top and bottom. Now this is uh, 3.4 volts peak to peak, and this is 6 volts peak to peak. Now I don't really need a lot of gain in this amplifier. It just won't act as a buffer for the oscillator. So I'm going to take out the 6 dB attenuator and replace it with a 15 dB attenuator. I've replaced the 6 dB attenuator with a 15 dB attenuator. And now if we look at the oscilloscope, there's still, there's now about 2 point, about 3 volts peak to peak being delivered by the oscillator and the output from the amplifier is 3.36 so there's not much voltage gain there but it certainly will buffer the 10 megahertz oscillator from any loads imposed externally I may replace this 15 decibel attenuator with a 10 Although the 15 certainly provides a nice sine wave output. So it wouldn't have been my first choice to select as a buffer. It's just that I had the components I had the whole kit on hand. So if you have enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up. It helps with the uh, YouTube algorithm. Thank you.